In this war-torn land outside Amatitis, Graves of the Goldie Clan is fighting a massive army. And why is he fighting a massive army? Well, he recently found himself besieging Amatitis and destroyed their garrison with an army of gunmen. Now, his liege lord and best friend and king, Gavin, decided that he should siege down Amatitis. So, you know, Graves did what he thought was best and, you know, just fighting other people. Because the siege wasn't happening, you know, might as well do something. And so, let us see what these people can do to true might. So move! Let's move these gunmen up a little bit. Oh, someone's already getting a bit giddy here. Soldier! Well! Turn that way, men. Oh. Better stand still. These riders are coming a bit close, aren't they? Um, maybe stand still now? No? Okay. They even. Guys, try time to fire, maybe. Okay. Guess we will. Wait, Rhea was taken down by the night. Wait. Uh, looks like it was another, some friendly fire going on. I knew this was going to happen. But it also doesn't really look like we actually have to do anything ourselves. We can let these impeccable artists of war do most of everything uh, themselves. Although there is a line of I don't know people down here. So you know what? We're going to have a little fun here. I think these are archers, but as our gunmen deal with everything else, we're going to do something very silly. Go down here. And we're just going to fire straight down the line of whatever it is they have going here. Allowing our riflemen the fun on their own and also us. Yeah, just, um, kill them all! don't really have much of other troops, don't have much in the shape of, in the form of other troops. Actually, I think the enemy must be routed and running away. Or merely repositioning right now, but it doesn't matter, we should, uh, get rid of them. Beautiful victory, as it should be. Let's take these silly willies prisoner. There we go. Amatitis, ready to be taken. Gavin's on it. We don't need to do anything. Now, where to next? I suppose Lyceron or Jalmaris makes sense. Looks like Rorkin or Pierce's army are going to do some things up there. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I like Lycaron. That's a cool place. Used to be a Southern Empire hotspot, didn't it? Except it's fallen to this empire. Yeah, well, you know, not for long. Not for long at all. So it does look like we have to be a little bit fast here. As there's... Mm, you know, not a lot of stuff going in. Do we want to bribe the guards to let us in? I don't think that really does too much, no. We are just going to lead an assault. Aminon is in here. Who's this guy? Someone who doesn't like us? Okay, well, we don't like him either. Gavin is attacking somebody. No, I'm sure Gavin's doing fine. I'm sure Gavin's doing fine. Right, well, the siege is prepared and the town has all sorts of defensive structures available. Now, this is, of course, not great, but we also need to make sure the siege happens and it happens fast because the war's either going to end soon or someone's going to come and take over this siege for us and we don't want that we want a big and epic and dangerous battle and the only way to do that well that is for us to have no interruptions here luckily for us it seems that we can have a very good starting position for our riflemen which we will improve even more and then we will rush indeed we will rush the gates because we have an important plan the plan involves smashing these grenades into the gate. I mean, my goodness, by riding on the horse, we've really added some damage to these things. I remember in the beginning... Well, let's just say we needed more than a stack of grenades to do something, but now 
We're gonna get in here and we're gonna show these guys what it means to be a Goldie Clan member. Who needs aiming when you've got shotguns, ladies and gentlemen? Not only do you have shotguns, but, well, the rest of your army has something as well. I don't really know what the rest of the army is. I'm not sure we need it. Graves seems to have these down all on his own. Wait, are people actually using the ladders? Why are people going up the ladders? Oh my goodness! Where did all these people come from? Looks like Graves has found himself in a pickle. Just kidding. He's fine. Alright, well, since the siege equipment is still going, I think maybe I have an idea. Uh, we probably don't want our riflemen stuck here. That would be bad. We would just want them to do their thing, you know? And not get hit by rocks here. Yeah, we want them to be firing their guns. Okay, uh... Alright, well, that guy's coming up. Fine, fine, who cares? We don't care. Goodbye. No, we don't care about those guys either. These guys, you know, doesn't matter. That's not what we're here for. We're here to stop the siege equipment. These guys. Oh. Uh, yeah. These, these, this thing. And how about over there? Ho! Oh. Up there. Ho! Oh. oh, Jesus. There's one here too. Not for long. Luckily, we can't actually hurt ourselves with these thing things. I need to stop this. Did they just stop using it? Oh, we broke it now. Well, that's something. How about these guys? Holy shit! There's no... Oh, there is a thing over there. Okay, I see it. Can we hit it? Come on. That's better. Okay. Okay, what... what? Okay. I think most of our guys are inside. So it doesn't even matter. All right, we've even got our rifleman knights using their two-handed hammers to uh, take people on close. Yeah, showing that their prowess does not extend to them merely. Oh yeah, even one-handed. Oh, oh sorry, no, I... Don't worry, the sharp shooter's fine. I look in the top right, he's not dead. You know, maybe... We don't actually have that many troops left. So, oh, if I press alt, I can actually see where the siege equipment is. I'm stupid. Oh, we won. Okay, well, Graves did rather well by killing more than half of the enemies. 404 people. Excellent. And, um, otherwise the knights and the sharpshooters did the best. Which is not the strangest thing, since they are the better troops. And so, Lycaron is taken, and we shall show mercy. And we will obviously claim it. Because why wouldn't we? This Lycaron, well, surely this is now Graves' place. Right here in the middle. Makes sense. It's lovely. Recruitment type. Grab more riflemen. Because, you know, apparently just entering a place, taking it over, it will make everybody in there suddenly able to shoot with guns. Because why not? 20, nearly 23,000 gold from ransoming all the prisoners we just grabbed. Of course. And I suppose we'll sell off lots of stuff as well. Not only is that an additional 84,000 gold into Graves' pocket, a hundred war exhaustion for the Western Empire means that they are gonna suck it. Let's look at the stats, actually. Casualties. Way bigger on the Western Empire side. Caravans raided. Villages raided. Thieves lost. Heroes imprisoned, war duration, obviously that's the same, but yeah. These guys were bum bungled. Bum bungled? Yeah. They've got nothing left. <laughs> and the Goldie clan is controlling most of these towns. It's a little bit crazy, but the guys just want this them to own them. It's, it's interesting, but there you go. Well, time to rest up, recruit more, and I mean we don't need to care about this all that. That was not important. Oh my god, yes! A war of the Calradian Empire? 
Oh, that's exactly what I was hoping for. So, with this war going on and the other one ending, well... Graves couldn't... What in the actual Bunga Bunga is that? 2,105 Regea Army. Well, I was going to go besiege on Nira, but perhaps there is a bigger fish to fry. That is an incredibly massive army, but now Lycaron, undefended, is being besieged. Where is she going? Gathering? She's gathering. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We will be fighting that. First, though, we must defend our newly acquired town. And so it seems Sanian here is the one besieging Lycaron, so uh, nobody dangerous, just... Now then. Come no closer. Do you want, we don't even care. Okay, do you want, actually, this is just one guy. Maybe we can ask him something interesting. Something to discuss. Uh, Regea is not, um, worthy of his loyalty, but apparently he loves Regea. Okay, surrender or die then, weakling. I mean, what does he expect? Sieging down the town? I mean, okay. Wait, we can maybe request these nearby bandits to join. There are bandits. It actually works! My god! I have seen this option multiple times and I've never actually seen it able to be useful, but... Whoo! I have expected the game to crash from that, but it didn't! My goodness. There is actually a reason to keep these guys on our side. Oh, imagine if we gave all the forest bandits guns. That'd be crazy. I might be running around, we could make them join in. Ooh, that sounds absolutely insane. Are these guys coming closer? They are coming closer. Hey, Graves 2 got a kill. Good job, Graves 2. Move. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of these guys that are actually going closer. And I think these bandits have joined us for no reason because, um, we're not gonna make use of them. We are going to have our gun toting Riflemen simply take care of this entire army by being chance. Now, as is custom and is proper. Ooh, we'll enjoy the sun. Oh my goodness, look at the lighting of this. Beautiful. Uh, we are going to enjoy our guys start off the fighting by simply destroying them. Okay, Rhea is starting. Um, makes sense. She is a bit evil in a sense that she's a bit of a... Well, I wouldn't say she's evil. She's... She's something, all right. And on the other hand, well... We have got ourselves an entire army of riflemen enjoying themselves right now as they mow down the entire enemy force. get a couple of kills here then. Just these horsemen that our guys can't hit. Except, oh, we're all missing this one. Have everybody charged for the last couple of guys. Hmm. Well, we can't let this guy run away, can we? Oh, There we go. This really is a beautiful sight. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just stay here. Maybe Regea's army is actually going to come here, you know? It's a lot of men. Uh, oh, Gavin, no, 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 no. Don't go upwards. Don't go up to it, please. That is where Regea is going. So, so, uh, yeah. Argoron has rebelled. Argoron rebels. Argoron Rebels. Who's doing this? Random people. Well, no. No, we're not going to allow that. Only problem is that it looks like Elystron might be under threat by people like Sarandon here. Sure does look like Sarandon here is going to- oh yes, yes he is. He's going this direction. Gavin can do what he wants, though I'm afraid that Gavin will be running into a certain army. How many people? Oh, there's actually 100 and... Do you know what? There's enough defenders in Lycaron to keep people off. There's enough defenders. 
we are going to... Okay, there's not enough defenders anymore because indeed Regea is doing what I thought she might. Which is to besiege Lyceron. So we will wait here and we will defend it. Though 2,317 troops is a lot. Gavin's attacking the castle, we don't care, he's free to do it. And we will join the defense. Uh, though we do not wish to sally out. Because then we might as well have just met her on the open field. My goodness. Ah, uh, Regas looking... Oh, Jesus. She's not even giving us a moment for anything. She doesn't care about siege equipment. She has a simple battering ram. And so, and so she's going in. Not even giving us a chance to sabotage it. My goodness. She is not messing around. Here we go. Inside the castle. Readying up our defenses to stand against Regea. Oh, this is an interesting looking position we're in. Hmm, I wonder if we can just... Seems like we are mostly hitting everybody r running through this, but we are hurting it. We can delay its arrival by simply shooting at the thing itself. Everybody who wants to hold it? No. Obviously, we could just do this. Maybe this is better. We are slowly destroying this thing, though, and I do like that. I hope they have ranged troops, because it doesn't look like they can actually get through Graves' grave fire like this. Hello, guys. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to actually siege down this place? We have guns. We have all the guns in the world. You may have overwhelming odds, but so do we. All their fancy schmancy armored horses are not going to be doing anything if they can't get on our walls. And, well, actually their horses just don't exist yet, do they? So we are hurting this thing. I do wonder, maybe... Oh, well, we still have grenades. And now they don't have a siege equipment. Rain fire down upon these fools. That is what we are saying. Oh, suddenly we have ammo again. No, this is a no enter zone, guys. Goodbye. You, you sure you want to get up here? I'm not so sure you do. You might want to go somewhere else. Like over there. Or hmm, maybe you don't actually want to go over there anyway, because uh, that's also a no-go zone, isn't it? Jesus Christ. I mean, this could... If, if most of these guys are mounted, this could definitely have been something of a battle if we weren't put. But we have currently killed 600... Okay, they still have more than half their guys, but let's be honest. We have infinite bullets. What are they going to do? They haven't even managed to hit Graves once with an arrow. How are they going to stop it? Do you know what? They seem to have cover over there. Are we going to remove it? Let's remove it. Yeah, we're removing that cover. Oh, are they running? It looks like they are running. Do you know what? I don't blame them. That's a good idea. And it doesn't look like... Oh, does Graves have too much of a medicine ability? Maybe Regea does. None of their troops are actually dying. So it, they're all getting knocked out. So it doesn't actually really matter if we keep hitting them. Okay, it's not true. 105 guys died. That's something. Wow. Well, there you go. They're not entirely sure what to do. Except they're assaulting us again. With less troops. Okay. Okay. This time we'll be using a different gun. A fully automatic assault rifle because, you know, variety is the spice of life, as they say. Oh, and I do so. In oh my god, we've even got siege equipment for defense now. So we've got a random terrible soldier even getting lots of kills. Meanwhile, we are fully enjoying our... Immaculate accuracy, just blasting into these throngs of people, slaughtering them with our AK-47. Oh, 
Oh. Gun him down! Quite literally, people. Gun. Oh, do you know what? Why gun him down? We can just say hello. Did you have people here you were friends with? Well, you, good, good thing you're all dead together. Oh god, I think we... We kill everything too hard, the game crashed. For the sake of the game itself, we will be refraining from using the massive explosives this time, and hopefully just mowing them all down with our automatic weaponry and through all of our amazing troops will simply suffice. So considering the utter devastation we are wreaking upon these fools, I don't see an issue. Although they are actually managing to shoot graves a little bit this time. Not entirely convinced it'll be enough. Between being an imperial city with powerful imperial troops and our riflemen also being formidable melee combatants, this shouldn't change the outcome too much. Well, let's also make sure that they're not doing too well over here. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, really? Again? So, oh, ah, uh, yeah, no, that, that, some, maybe a troop in the enemy army was gonna keep making us crash when it spawned or something. That's the only thing I can think of, but, uh, yeah, no, that army was, um, it was never gonna do it, was it? That army was, n had no way to defeat us, and so, well, we defeated it. We rescued a bunch of prisoners, so we have a, a lot of troops, and we also have a, a gajillion prisoners. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to take... Uh, look at all these guys. Jesus, there's so many people. But what do we want to do? We want to take a note out of Gavin's book, I think. Regea, family, only Ira. Does Ira actually have anybody? She has... Phoebe. Oh, look, it's a Goldie Clan member, I didn't even realize. And she has two other children, Radan and Sitakia. Radan, Akbar, and Akbar. Who is this guy? Akbar? Don't know. This random Akbar guy who's not actually... Oh, no way, Akbar is Iris' wife. Never mind. Okay, I thought it was exciting. I thought, finally, one of the NPCs was going to be doing something exciting, but no. No, it wasn't. Regea, though. All right, we can't talk to her because we're in the town. There we go. Empress Regea. She doesn't hate us, which means... We're spending some time together. Rhea, the wife, is kind of just rolling her eyes at that. She knows what it's like from her father. And she thinks it's all silly willy nilly. Does she? Or is it worse? Yeah, it's probably fine. Anyway, let's go to the keep, let's go to the uh, men's garrison, and let's put in all the units except the Codmans. Kind of wish it was here in alphabetical order, but maybe we don't have anything else. I was right, I only actually had Codman knights and sharpshooters. I just recruited 16 Codman recruits, and they. Ten of them can already be... I don't understand why they can already be uh, upgraded, but they can. All right, prisoner limit. Of course. Well, we've had uh, fun with Regea, so why don't we just earn 247,500 gold from selling every single one of them. That's free money. So, okay, Gavin's army, and they're doing stuff here. There's... Rebels. Really? Rebels, I don't know if I can agree to that. Why on earth would there be rebels? That's just not on. No, not at all. I don't really know why we're following this road, but can we go this way, please? Can we, how about over there? Just get off the road, man. There's no mountains here. Let's go. It seems Rorkin's army and also Gavin's army are going to Mentola here to besiege it. That's fine. Might as well. In the meantime, Graves is going to take care of Argoron. This is the place where he has been conducting his activities, you know. Oh, now they're selling out. That's fine. This is a place where Graves has a lot of influence. 
And these idiots are not going to remove this influence by rebelling. No! Also, it's a pollution culture republic. Okay, it's not a pollution town, apparently. Well, it damn well should be. And here we have it. Graves, let's go. Let's stop these guys from even daring to believe they have a chance of anything. Move forward. Soldiers, move. Why are you standing still? I am fairly sure I've asked you to move closer. Soldiers, will. And turn that way, please. Get your guns ready for their enemies to fire at. All of them, the entire force of rebels inside the town have come out to meet us. Oh, well, Rhea is showing us how it's done. And so shall Grace. Well, enough of that. It shouldn't only be the nobility that has all the fun. Okay, men, maybe you should start firing. Okay, some of them are firing. Troops! Oh, wait, can they fire now? Okay, they're still... They're finally firing. Let's go, men! Let's see this majestic destruction continue! Is this all the defense these rebels can muster? Seems there's nothing for them to muster. They're already running away. Five hundred and eighteen enemies wiped out. Ah, oh, Katina was imprisoned. Ah, oh, what? Well, that is just not right. And the same for my stay, sir. My goodness. Mom, let's continue this siege. Not that there should really be much of a siege, if we're going to be honest, because there's no one here to defend against graves. Well, let's see how well they defend. Uh, I do wonder, if we don't rush in, how will it go if we simply stand here? Move forward! Look that way! And allow our troops to fire on them. Do we need to break in? I feel like maybe we don't. I don't actually have any... Oh wait, that looks like it might be a... Uh... Oh yeah, that is a thing. If we could stop it. Can we hit it from here? Doesn't look like we can. How about this one? There we go, that one's gone. That's something. Did we... Yeah, no, we didn't break the one up there. Now we did. Excellent! No defensive equipment left, I believe. Let's have a look. I uh, don't see anything going on up there. I might just be blind. But to me, it looks like... Oh, okay. Let's get closer. I mean, the whole reason I'm standing here and not blowing in the front door is I want to see our gunman shoot down all the wall defense. Come on, men. Let's see it. Are you firing still? Actually, I am just not really giving them enough credit because there's just less people up for them to shoot this time. If we look at the top of the screen, there's actually just not a lot of enemies to kill anymore. Jesus, these things do so much damage now. I, how much throwing skill does? Charge! I swear we needed multiple grenades to start with to, like they needed a whole stack of them to destroy. Um. Okay, yeah, I am. These things are doing so much damage now. That must we, got the, we must have the last throwing perks and it's scaling insanely well. That must be it. 
Anyway, uh, since I don't want to kill all my own troops with the collateral damage, I will not be firing on these guys and will simply let the... Ah, the Codman Cannoneers blow them all up. Die, you Your troops are beyond powerful graves. All the graves that are being dug! Ah, my goodness. And of course, we might as well just claim Argaron as our own because it's right here next to our other towns that we also own. Just own them all. Clearly, the previous owner was also just no good because, you know. With Argaron taken back into Felician custody, Graves is left wondering why he's not really been able to get Graves to speak to him for a while. G Gavin. Graves is wondering why he hasn't been able to get Gavin to speak to him. I'm still messing up their names. Yeah, well, it does look like Gavin is actually on his way up here. Good, that means that Graves can have a talk with him to see what, what what's going on, man. What's going on, buddy? It's been a while. It has been a while. Hi, Chieftain Gavin. This should really be King. Commending us an upload struck against Argon. That is good. Uh, you know, you should have intimate times with your wife. Good stuff. Ho? Oh? What's going on here? Apparently, Gavin is not in a good mood and Gavin has decided he's going to fight Graves. But why? Surely he doesn't know anything about the murders and the troops with guns? That wouldn't make any sense! He's only just fought with them right next to him and probably is terrible at hiding who he's killing. Oh dear. 